A number of the databases we've reviewed in this program provide links to biomedical research literature in PubMed. This tutorial will provide a brief introduction to the PubMed database. PubMed, like all of the databases discussed in this program, is a product of the National Library of Medicine. PubMed provides access to Medline, the National Library of Medicine's database of index citations and abstracts to medical, nursing, dental, veterinary, healthcare, and preclinical sciences journal articles. This screencast will demonstrate how to do a keyword search in PubMed and demonstrate how to utilize some of the search filters and productivity tools offered by PubMed. We're interested in finding literature about occupational asthma among nurses. Just like we did with ToxNet, we'll want to distill our search terms down to our most essential concepts. So let's enter occupational asthma, nurses, into the search field and click search. This brings up a search results page. If we want to further narrow our search results, we could add in another term. PubMed automatically ands search terms together, so adding another term into the search bar will reduce the number of results our search returns. Another option for reducing results would be to use the filters along the left side of the page. Let's say we're interested in English language articles that have been published in the last 10 years. Some of the filters display automatically, but if you click Show Additional Filters, you'll be presented with more options. Select all of the boxes and click Show. Now all of these filters are displayed on the left side. To apply a filter, simply click on it. We'll click on English Language and Published in the Last 10 Years. We've now substantially reduced the number of results. The results screen displays the article's title, the author's names, publication information, and the PubMed ID number. We'll talk more about the PubMed ID number in a moment. When you find a citation you'd like to save, you can click the box next to it and then click Send To and select Clipboard. The clipboard is a temporary storage place for citations. Items in the clipboard will be lost after eight hours of inactivity or if you close your browser window. Let's take a closer look at a specific citation in PubMed asthma history, job type, and job changes among U.S. nurses. At the top, you see the article's publication information. To see the full, unabbreviated title of the journal, just hover over it with your mouse. Under that, you have the title of the article, the authors, and their affiliation. Below that, you have an abstract, and below that, the PubMed ID number. The PubMed ID number, or PMID, is a unique ID number for this article, which you can use to bring up this record in PubMed at any time. Finally, we have publication types and mesh terms. And mesh terms are the subject headings that have been applied to this article. On the right side of the screen, you'll see similar articles. The similar articles tool is a great way to find related citations. Just above similar articles, are icons that assist you in accessing the full text of the article. PubMed is what's called a bibliographic database, which means it only contains information about the articles, not the articles themselves. Some articles in PubMed are available for free. Look for the free article note in your results screen. When accessing an article that isn't free, if you're a student, physician, researcher, or health professional, utilize your affiliation with a medical library or institution. If you're a member of the general public not affiliated with a medical library or institution, try finding free copies, check with your local library, or go directly to the publisher to purchase a copy.